Hey guys, Screwman here, and I've got some great news. Z-Work has got a beta pre-release, or first release, of AMD GPUs mining a Leo. You heard that right. We can finally start mining a Leo on AMD GPUs. So in this video, I'm going to just show you the testing on it, how it's going so far, and give you my recommendations. Now remember, this is a first release. Generally, the first releases are a little bit rough. As far as getting this thing set up, it was pretty straightforward. If you already knew how to mine a Leo and how you had a Z-Work set up, you should be able to get this set up no problem. But this is not a setup video. I can cover that in a later video if there's interest. Anyway, guys, without further ado, I want to show you how the AMD GPUs do on a Leo. I have quite a few that I'm testing out. Let's see how they do and whether or not it's worth it for you to mine a Leo on AMD GPUs after a quick word from our sponsor. This video was brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros, your one-stop shop for all your home ASIC mining needs. Their prices listed are shipped to your door, so you don't have to worry about any hidden or unexpected fees. What is listed is all you have to pay, and make sure you use code CRUITMAN with two zeros for $70 off your next order. My most recommended miner right now would be the Jazz Miner X16Q. I love mine, and I've had it for almost a year now, and it is still profitable. I prefer recommending ETHAS ASICs because there are tons of mineable coins on them, so they tend to stay profitable longer than other algo-specific ASIC miners. So thank you again to Crypto Miner Bros for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to use Crootman with two zeros for $70 off your next order. Garage where all my testing GPUs are. I try to keep one of every major series. I'm still in the process of building this out. We've got a 580 in here right now. This is my test bench. It's an AMD FX plugged into a um, riser with an Elmore Labs PMD right here so I can get you the actual power reading. And it's on a separate power supply than the board as well. So you can see that's my testing methodology. I'm going to get you all of the AMD miners up until RDNA 3 and some of the mining specific ones I don't own anymore as I think they're a waste. So without further ado, let's get to it. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for sponsoring this video and let's see the results and I'll give you some conclusions at the end. You can see this one's ramping up now. So when we compare the results of the Z-Work miner on the Leo with AMD GPUs, the results are pretty lackluster, especially when you compare them to NVIDIA. You can see I did an F2 pool and Z-Work comparison a few weeks ago, and these are my numbers. And when you compare them to the, to the AMD numbers, it's essentially the worst NVIDIA GPU is better than the best AMD GPU. This could be for one of three reasons. The first reason is it could be because the miners, basically it's the first release of the miner and they still have a lot of kinks to work out. Essentially what happened with 1.0 miner. Now this is not a knock on Z-Work. I'm really glad that they actually did this because it's, you know, having 
A beta is better than having nothing because it means that there's development and it means that there's improvement coming along. The second reason could be that my overclocks are just horrible. To give you an idea, I first started with, you know, like memory overclocks didn't work, obviously, because this is more of a core algorithm. And then I started with Dynex overclocks. That was way better. And then I tried Kapow overclocks and Kapow overclocks ended up being the best. Does that mean I still did it right? You know, I don't know. I'm not an expert and this is still a pretty new coin and you really don't get a lot of visibility in the miner. So it's kind of hard to see what you could have improved on. And I wanted to get this guy out for you guys to see. So my overclocks could be bad. And then also Aaliyah's hash rate is all over the place. As you can see, when you look at the 5700 XT's numbers versus like the 5600 XT, that's like a fluke. Uh, I, you know, I left the, or the 5700 XT on for like an hour trying to find better numbers and I couldn't, so I moved on. And, and then finally, the third reason is AMD is not known to be the best on core algorithms. And it could honestly be that AM, these GPUs are just not good for Leo mining. So which one is it? I would honestly assume it's probably a mix of all three of those. And right now I'm gonna have to say that I would avoid mining a Leo on your AMD GPUs. Now that's not to say that Zwork didn't do a great job on a beta, and but there's still work to be done and I hope they do it. That's it for this video. Thank you to our sponsor and remember guys, we just have to be thankful that Zwork started this process. We have to give them encouragement. We have to give them support. I know that when they release another one, I will be right there to help them test with it. And hopefully we can see meaningful improvement. If 1.0 could get these things to work on Zealous, then I have no doubt that maybe we can see a profitable Leo miner in the future. So, you know, let's give shout out to Zwork for try for getting this started. Please like and subscribe for more GPU mining content. Crew man out.